atoms are also in constant motion. They move, twist, and vibrate at all times. These different motions have energy, which is what we refer to as heat. The average energy of motion of the atoms in a substance are what we measure as temperature. For example, an increase in temperature means there is more atomic motion. If you add enough heat, atoms can move so much more that they pull away from the material and fly apart. For example, heat up water and the water molecules start to leave as steam. Let's put a gas inside a container with a piston on top. Next, let's increase the temperature of the molecules. This increases the speeds of motion in the atoms. The atoms will now hit the walls of the container harder, which increases the pressure. Now try moving the piston down inward. The gas molecules will collide with the piston, and the piston will add some energy to the molecules as they bounce off much the same way that ping pong balls will move away faster when hit by a paddle. The result is that the molecules will move faster so the temperature goes up. When slowly compressing gases, they heat up. Conversely, slowly expanding gases will decrease their temperature. Let's look at an example of a liquid. When you decrease the temperature, the molecules will not move as quickly. Beyond a certain point, the molecules will start to lock and arrange themselves into a crystalline array. In most cases, this means the substance will decrease in volume, since it is more restricted in its structure. In a rare exception, water turning to ice actually increases in volume. This is because its crystalline structure arranges itself to have large holes in it. Note that even when substances solidify and the molecules lock in place, the molecules are still moving, they jiggle and vibrate. Melting a substance involves adding more heat to speed up these motions such that the movements can jiggle the molecules out of place to move more freely again. Thus, melting a substance collapses its crystalline structure. Interestingly, even at the absolute zero temperature, atoms don't completely stop vibrating. Nature demands that there's always a minimal amount of motion. It can't completely stop. 